Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, benefits of microservice architecture. I worked on both uh, microservice microservice architecture and monolithic. So, let's see the difference. This so this picture is an example for monolithic and this picture is for microservice architecture, okay? So, here you can see UI layer, business logic, data, access layer and database. N inside the mono monolithic architecture we can't try out a uh, different different technology stack okay and here it's completely uh, so each features have been divided and a separate service it has been deployed as a separate service it's a single service actually here in monolithic but here each feature say we have a shopping site we have uh, we can divide the features like user service order service payment service and shipping service they can have their own database and caching service so it's like feature wise you can divide it depends on the uh, application you can divide and deploy independently okay so each team can take one service and start working on it uh, independently they can test and deploy okay so it's in it improves the uh, fault isolation suppose there is a problem in the payment service so none of the other service need, need not be touched and only the payment service team can work on it debug it find the fix and independently deploy to the production so uh, it's like fault isolation is very fast and you, you don't have to rebuild entire application actually you have to build only the payment service in this case if you have any bug in the say business logic in one module you have to build entire thing so you have to stop entire thing and you have to again restart it okay so in this case independently you can touch one service one module one module and you can work on it okay eliminate the long term commi commi commitment to single stack uh, technology single stack technology in the sense uh, say during design you would have uh, thought about one technology and started it and after one year of development the new technology would have come and you can't try out because it's closely uh, it's coupled with a single technology here suppose uh, say shipping service I want to try out with a different database or here I want to try out the event driven uh, technology okay so here I can try with different database only this module will be a service will be affected and I can replace the existing service with a new one okay so none of the others other portion is not impacted so you can try out new technologies for different services faster development and deployment each team can take uh, one service and start working on it it will be faster and deployment also it will be faster it will not take much time okay uh, helps in short release cycle suppose uh, there is a feature only for uh, shipping service and you can release it since agile since in agile we can deliver uh, two weeks sprint within two spring two weeks sprints you can deliver something a small increment uh, similarly you can have short release cycles a three month cycle you can have and release new features to the market eliminate un unused feature in the product so there are unused you there are unused uh, there is a possibility for unused feature in the product and sometimes it was developed and switched off and nobody is worried about that and it's there okay uh, uh, no no use of no use of any feature and it will be staying there it's like dead code dead feature but here it's very focused we uh, say suppose order service payment service they'll focus on what need to be provided uh, only features that is required will be added okay and the next thing is small and easy to understand the code base so for the development team it will be really easy because they have to focus on only one service say suppose a group of uh, seven members can work on other service and focus only on that and uh, develop and deploy in the production okay easy to scale services independently here in monolithic architecture uh, scaling is uh, which will take a lot of time actually okay so in the sense they suppose during the christmas time people will shop a lot the the server request will be huge 
uh, more server requests will come and uh, we cannot handle it uh, in the microservice architecture suppose uh, ui layer and the U order service layer suppose searching people will search uh, the number of requests to this server will be more okay to handle it we can scale some of the services independently in the sense say order service i can increase the number of instances to 10 10 instances only order service i can increase the to 10 that is possibility that is possible okay and other services i don't want number of instances let it be one or two something like that okay so scalability is it's possible for independent services okay and here monolithic architecture the entire stack has to be uh, duplicated okay so it's very difficult but here it's very easy and it's possible you can replace an existing service with the latest service suppose <coughs> you want a different database and you want to try out a new database or you want to try out a spring core or something spring boot or something so you can try out and replace with the existing with a new one with the existing one okay then le less expensive to change and system resiliency if one of the microservice stopped working only small uh, particular function will be lost suppose uh, user service is not working it will not impact the other other service let it be it will be running and during short time we can uh, fix the bugs or fix the issues and we can make it run so okay okay so since the uh, since the replacement or uh, other services will be keep on running we can fix it easily okay so these are the 10 uh, advantages of microsoft microservice architecture hope these points are useful thank you and all the best